Welcome back to Daily Reddit Stories, let's start to story. AITA for hesitating to connect with my girlfriend's kids after discovering she slept at her ex's place. I'm here looking for some advice because honestly, I don't have many friends who want to hear about my relationship drama. My girlfriend and I have been dating for six months, but we've been close friends for years. I'm 39, and so is she. Here's the situation. I caught my girlfriend lying to me. She told me she was going to hang out with her girlfriends after we had a fight, saying we just needed some space for the day. But she never really does that, she's been pretty clingy. So I found out she actually went to her ex-boyfriend's place and stayed the night there. She claimed she just had too much to drink and didn't want to drive home, but she knew it was wrong to lie to me. She begged me for another chance and promised she'd be honest with me from now on. Because I love her a lot and believe she has strong feelings for me, I gave her another shot. She agreed to share her location with me to ease my worries. This is her last chance though, no more room for mistakes. Now, she has two kids, 8 and 15. She wants me to come to the 15-year-old's volleyball game this weekend, but I'm really anxious about getting involved with her kids right now, especially after everything that's happened. Just after she stayed at her ex's, I took her kids out for pizza and ice cream for one of their birthdays, not knowing what had gone down. After finding out I felt so stupid and played, like I was just a pawn in their drama. I know it's not the kid's fault, but I'm struggling to shake the feeling that I'm being manipulated or used. I've been questioning if it's too soon for me to step into their lives fully, or if I'm being overly sensitive because of the recent betrayal. I want to do the right thing, but I also don't want to rush into anything and regret it later. So now I'm feeling hesitant about doing anything with her kids. I'm not sure how to explain this to her or if I'm being unreasonable. What do you think? Am I the asshole for feeling this way? Comment Alone lab, not the asshole. It's her fault she lied to you and was disloyal, there's more she probably did than she didn't mention. You're not obligated to hang out with children that aren't yours. She is most likely using you so she can do other things with her ex. To be honest, I would completely cut her off. Op replied, Hey, thanks for the feedback. I do want to believe she is sincere in her remorse and mistakes, but I am really weary and suspicious of everything now. I have no doubt she loves me and it's not like she's got me doing shit for her kids while she's out doing whatever. I would never be with her kids alone. I just feel weird being involved with them now at this stage, considering it's so soon after what just happened. I'm really trying to be careful right now for a while, and I want to know how I should bring it up to her that I am still really angry about the last time I did anything with her and the kids, not to mention paid for everything, not that it was a huge amount of money or anything. Alone lab, completely taken advantage of you, I would honestly request her to send the money back. Vegetable method Cheaters deserve to be dumped. Op replied, Yes and I agree, but this has been my friend for all of my adult life. We know everything about each other for better or worse. We never once crossed that line and always remained close platonic friends, until this year, something happened, and it brought us together, and it was the most amazing thing for both of us. Even my one guy friend told me that this is worth another shot with her because yous you never find this kind of love. I hope he's right. My wife rocks, not the asshole, you don't really believe her, do you? She got drunk and fell asleep nothing else happened. In your experience when a woman came to your house alone and had drinks and spent the night what happened? That's exactly what happened here. She was pissed off at you, so she fucked her ex to get back at you. Let that sink in. Whatever you do, don't have kids with her. Op replied, no, I don't believe her at all, I just assume they FC kid, even though she denies it to this point, I don't have absolute proof, but if I were to bet on it, they definitely did, she says she blocked him on all platforms, and I know for a fact she did on Instagram, at least. I do know she's not friends with him on Facebook, and she no longer has Snapchat because her phone is broken, and she can't download any apps I know this, I tried, but I'm looking to try and move on, and just be cautious but if it ever happens again. Oh and I don't plan on having kids ever, and she doesn't want any more, but just for the record, she came over to my house the next day, and her pussy was freshly shaven after not being shaved for weeks the day before. Her excuse was, she honestly just did it to make herself feel better after our fight because she was in such a bad way. 
my wife rocks, yeah, just so you know, this is now the precedence for your fights. She will get pissed and go fck and x her some random. That's your future. Sorry brother. I've been there you don't want what comes next. Op replied, well, for the foreseeable future, she's gonna be sharing her location with me as she offered and agreed to. If all of a sudden her phone isn't working after we get into a fight, I'll just assume the worst. My wife rocks, cheaters up their opsec when they're caught. It's easy to leave her phone at her mom's house for a few hours. Op replied, and if she doesn't respond for hours I'll also know, she texts me all through her day, never more than 30 minutes between messages, but yes she's already upped her ability to hide shit before on smaller stuff that I called her out on. They love you mom, not the asshole. It's completely fine, if you're hesitant to do anything at all. I would be pretty upset if my girlfriend did that to me. If I were you, I honestly would just sit down with her. Op replied, I will admit she's definitely very willing to talk about things and own up to her mistakes. We've definitely had a lot of long talks about how we're gonna move forward, but one thing we've never talked about was how I want to kind of not get too involved with the kids anymore for a while, at least until we see how things go. If it were any other woman, I would have cut her off immediately when I saw the red flags, but she's been a really close friend of mine for over a decade and recently really helped me out in a time of need, we made such good friends, and it was like bliss falling in love with her this year, we wanted each other so badly and still do, so I don't want to throw all that away, but the resentment is still there and I do want to keep my guard up for a while. Real concern, you are the asshole for taking her back and continuing to invest in her kids, while you have only dated for six months. Do you think it will get better? It's only been six months, and she already cheated on you. You are being gaslit into raising her kids. Her kids are innocent in this, the best thing for them is for you to not be involved with them, as it is still early enough for you to exit. Imagine after two or three years? You are going to have enough of her bullshit after the NTH time she goes with her girlfriends to look for another man to have fun with while you stay home with the kids. When you do leave her, it's going to leave her kids traumatized with you missing. Don't let it get to that. They need their dad, which I'd bet she is preventing them from seeing. Not the asshole for not wanting to spend time with her kids, just follow through and dump her ass. Middle instance, not the asshole. That being said, if you can't fully trust her now, will you ever be able to trust her? Or is it something that's going to be in the back of your mind for the remainder of the relationship, festering away until you begin to resent her? Op replied, I'm giving it a chance to see if it can be built back up, I'll be honest, I'm still really weary and have my guard up, I will be asking her to show me her phone randomly and having her send me her locations, and if any of that is an issue, it's over for good, I'm giving her a chance because of how much she's meant to me over the years. Thank you for listening to today's story, have a nice day.